Good morning, it's about 10 o'clock now. Um, I was up like, I set my alarm for like 5.15 and had a good morning. I read a chapter of my book and made myself a little baby breakfast before Mike and I went to the gym. Um, went to the gym, came back, made like a full breakfast that you guys saw and showered out right for the day. Now we're here. Oh, and I journaled. I've been journaling. I think I said in my last vlog that I was like gonna try to wake up early and like start a new morning routine just to like, you know, challenge myself a little bit. Or, like give myself something to like look forward to every day. But I have been watching back a lot of the content I've been posting and I am sorry. I just feel like such a downer, honestly. Hold on, actually I need to move you because I actually need in my journal box. Yeah, I've just been watching some of my content and I'm like, get over it you know my whole video last week was about not like about but i was just really in a post-grad slump a post-grad depression where's the class pause? and i feel like i'm starting to come out of that i cried so many times last week I cried a lot there was a point in my life several years ago where like i was in a really bad place in my personal life and was literally like depressed um, and I don't think I've been that like down since then. So I just was crying literally so much last week. I posted a TikTok and I just broke down in tears, like in the middle of filming the TikTok. So that was fun. But like that day, I think I cried like five times. I went home um, for my grandmother's birthday this past weekend, crying yesterday crying <laughs> but I started my period yesterday so it explains some things but not all of them because I'm still like not in a great place but I feel like we're climbing out of like the trenches yeah so like sorry that I've just been like so down but also like this is my life right now and I don't have like a bad life obviously but just in like in a very hard transition period of my life um and I'm subjecting you all to watch it. Sorry. I think it honestly all kind of is stemming from like finances right now. Like I don't have my full-time like doctor job because I have to wait to see if I get into a residency program. I can't just like go find another job being a doctor somewhere to like leave in a few months. Um, like we're living here to save money because I don't know where I'm gonna be in the next few months so there's no point in signing a lease. I have like bills to pay now like my student loans and like all of this adult stuff that I pay for now when I don't have a job so it's just like I'm sure people have been here in their life or like will be here and it's just like hard but yesterday I got I did get a job and it's not like a job or like a career rather but just like a temporary um thing that I can do because I do make like some money off social media but not like consistently enough or like enough period to like feel comfortable paying my bills with that so I got a job and I'm working in a restaurant and I'm so sad I I didn't cry because of this but just like the, a compounding factor to like my life <laughs> but I got this job and I'm working in a restaurant and I can't have my nails painted at all like nothing on my nails and the hiring guy was like hiring guy manager whatever he was like oh is that gonna be an issue and I was like nope not at all because like what am I gonna say like no I do my nails done I can't work here sorry like no but I got my car and I literally started crying again and then I went home and started my period but <laughs> but I was just like another thing like brings me joy that I like can't 
do right now so it was just like mm. but i was thinking this morning honestly the next what day is it the next like five ish months are gonna be like a really intense like not grind hustle like those are like icky words to me but like a big reset for like what else i'm gonna do this year like what else i'm gonna do in my life like working really hard making money not doing my nails i guess nail health nail growth i don't know going to the gym um these pants don't fit me how they used to so that's another thing which is like fine literally so fine but you know just like another one of those like mm, like things that i've noticed recently that i'm like really compounding so yeah next five months are just like a big like work reset period um so i'm trying to look at it that way instead of like a punishment for myself like oh, i have to work this restaurant job that i like don't like or i can't have my nails done like my living situation like all of these things i've been thinking of as like a you're not good enough this is a punishment for like not setting myself up differently before i don't know so we're just like working really hard and resetting for the rest of the year and that's how we're gonna do it why is it so hot up here oh my god i got myself fully ready today i had a mock interview this afternoon with one of the attending positions i used to work at at the hospital i was at um before i graduated um it's gonna like help prep me for residency interviews i turned in my residency applications i was like sitting on them for so long they were like done and i was just like nervous to turn them in so i turned all of them in yesterday so now we just really prep for interviews and all of that stuff but i wanted to show you guys my outfit because i've worn this i wore this to my grandma's birthday to my little baby restaurant job interview thing that i had yesterday did i say yesterday no okay my grandma's birthday this weekend job interview yesterday and then today this is the same outfit i don't have any shoes on yet but i'm probably just gonna wear um like my white sneakers which actually need washed like my white reeboks this gray sweater is actually mike's that i stole from him and i made it my own my target jeans that i love so much target belt with the silver buckle um and then i think the jewelry really makes it i've been loving gray and silver like gray outfit silver jewelry i think it looks really chic these earrings i have had for few months now from Ana Luisa and then these earrings this ring and whoa that ring they're all from Ana Luisa as well as this necklace and then this bracelet let me like show you a better clip hold on so this necklace and then this bracelet are new it's just like a bangle bracelet I got one of these like a similar style from Ana Luisa of a bangle bracelet for my mom and I like it because it's not like huge i have a very small wrist so just like a big round bangle like they kind of just fall everywhere like off my wrist and i have this necklace in gold but again i'm like building my silver collection i feel like i have a whole like set now like i have silver rings and earrings necklace bracelet but let me show you see i keep putting you on top of my jewelry box and then i need it in the jewelry box this is another ring that i got from Ana Luisa. it's gold obviously but mixed metals are really in right now and like i don't think like gold and silver jewelry is never like out of style but i think it's really cool like statement ring but Annalisa is sponsoring today's video so thank you to them for sponsoring the video um i love working with Annalisa. i have for a really really long time even before like i started working with them i was purchasing their jewelry all on my own because it's such good quality for the price like i said i've had some of these other pieces for several months now like i said i've had some of these pieces for several months like these earrings and these rings well, this ring was actually when was it when did i get this ring december i think i think it was december but i repurchased it because i lost it and i loved it so much and i've worn this ring like multiple times but everything holds up really really well and if for whatever reason like you're not happy with how something's held up or it's damaged or broken or whatever you have a two-year warranty Ana Luisa is really really good about sustainability like they're i have the box right here hold on i tore it up but <laughs> like their shipping box is so so tiny it literally only fits 
what you bought and it's like this big giant box like extra papers nothing like that so they're really good about sustainability speaking of shipping like their shipping time is really quick anywhere in the u.s is free shipping which is great and their exchanges are really really easy they're actually running a valentine's day sale right now for 25 percent off which is a great deal on like already affordable jewelry even if you're not looking to get jewelry for someone else for valentine's day you can still get some for yourself i've been trying like i said i got fully ready today just because i've been you know in the trenches <laughs> i've just been trying to get ready and like put more effort into the way i look because those are the things that make me happy like i like putting on my makeup i like doing my hair I like putting jewelry on like as a form of self-care so again even if you don't plan to buy jewelry for someone else you can still one purchase it like as a form of self-care like i just said or kind of you know like send a hint to a significant other um like hey this would be to be a good gift i will leave a link to the 25 percent off um valentine's day sale that they're running in the description box i'll link all the pieces that i'm wearing and that i mentioned below um if you want to match if you want to send a hint to someone so thank you again to annalisa for sponsoring today's video um love them callie about 11 30 i just made myself this uh, giant smoothie i never intend for them to be this big and then they're massive it's kind of with my lunch kind of like a mid-morning snack um i'll probably eat something again before i leave to go do my mock interview but there's some strawberries um frozen banana cherries what else oh i put a half of an avocado in it it was just like sitting in the fridge um and i thought it would make it like creamier and oh my chocolate protein powder i've been doing i don't know if this is a good tip <laughs> Um, it sounds like a good tip and it was given to me by a current resident that's in one of the programs that I applied to. I'm working on like my interview and he gave me the advice to make a quizlet of like potential questions like traditional residency questions and interview questions and then more specifically like chiropractic residency interview questions and like make a quizlet with the questions and then your answer not so you can like like copy the answer down verbatim and try to memorize it when you get asked that question but just so you have like an idea of like points you want to talk about and like stuff you want to hit on um especially for your like the easy questions like tell me about yourself hardest question so he gave me the advice to do that and then just like go over those like periodically um so you're familiar with the questions that they're probably gonna ask you and then know exactly what you want to say or like the exact points that you want to hit on so i've been doing that this has been my little work setup the last week or more just like at the not the dining room table but like the kitchen kitchen table i guess and i like it because there's like a decent ish amount of light here with the big patio doors but there's still not a ton oh i found a cat i found a cat sitting on a couch i know i'm so sorry okay thank you I'm almost back to the house now, but I, I think I said this, I was doing a mock interview, um, downtown with, um, my old attending position. I haven't driven down there in like weeks now. And so I just like do not miss this drive at all, especially around like this time. It's a little after four o'clock and like everyone's on the road, but I just got really tired. It started raining. It snowed like a lot, a lot, a lot the last, um, few days and now it's like 40 degrees and raining so the interview was good like it was good practice and i'm glad i went obviously um i do have like some work to do and like i need to practice more obviously and i just had like a three minute spiral where i was like i'm gonna bomb these and no one is gonna offer me anything and i'm not gonna match any programs and it's also i'm slightly concerned now because like obviously my residency interviews take precedence over this new restaurant job that I have but they don't know that I'm only there for a short period of time because I was telling that to people I was like oh I need a temporary job and like no one was getting back with me because they were like we don't want to hire you for five months which is you know makes sense so they don't think I'm leaving so I can't tell them that I have an interview 
to do. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. And it's kind of like weird, crazy hours too. Like, I don't even know what my schedule is going to look like. And I'm so bad at telling like people no. Like if they're like, can you work blah, blah, blah. For sure I can. And that's going to be something I need to deal with. But I think, I don't think I said this, but before I left to come down here, I got an email back from one of the programs that they want to schedule an interview with me. So that's great to hear. So I need to do it sooner rather than later before I like get this new work schedule. So that doesn't become an issue. So I'm probably going to try to um, schedule it with them before the end of the week and like, like do it before Friday. <sighs> that it's soon and so then I'm freaking out what's going on anyways I'm at the post office right now because I sold this coach purse on Poshmark and I need to ship her out okay that was mildly frustrating and it was like completely my own fault I um thought I sold that coach purse and it I didn't it was the complete wrong item like I knew I sold something on Poshmark and I packaged up the wrong item. So if anyone wants to buy that coach purse, it's actually really cute. I just like, don't think I could style it myself um, very easily. It's a great price. It's on a Poshmark. We went to the gym this morning already. I love going to the gym in the morning just because I feel like I have so much more time in my day. But I'm gonna go back to the house now and work through my um, interview stuff a little bit more. And then I also have some, oh, it's raining. Can you hear? But I also have some stuff to do for my sister. I'm doing social media consulting, strategizing, whatever, with her for her new-ish business. If you are like a spiritual person, someone who's into like tarot cards, astrology, um, energy stuff, like that whole world. She does like remote energy work or in-person stuff too, but like We'll do your cards, read your birth chart, like all of that stuff. And she wants my help in like doing her social media. So I have some stuff to do in that regard. And I'm hungry. I don't know what I want to eat for dinner. Um, I might do another Caesar wrap. I made one of my last vlog. And they're act actually, yeah, I need to do that because I haven't had my Diet Coke today. And like a Caesar wrap with Diet Coke is just so good. I wanted to keep wearing this sweater because... I like it and it's cute and it's also cozy. I need water. I've been trying to be really good about drinking my water, but who's ever like really good at that, you know? I've been trying to do two of these a day. This is the 32 um, ounce Stanley, which like 64 ounces of water doesn't seem like a lot, but then you like do it and it seems like a lot. My face feels like tight and kind of dry i feel like i don't know if you can see this maybe you can there's like a little red patch right here on my cheek and i think it's just dry skin but i don't want to do my skincare right now because i haven't eaten dinner and i don't want to like do a full nighttime skincare within like still need to eat dinner so we're gonna hold off on that for a little bit but i just did some more work on my interviews um i found that i'm pretty good like I know what I want my answers to be for like the general questions like the tell us about yourself um what got you interested in like integrative care because that's like the route I'm going in but I need um some more specific answers as to like why that specific program is kind of what I figured out when I did the mock interviews like what makes each program unique and like the the people that I'm going to be interviewing with, that I'm going to be like working with every day, like what kind of things they do day to day and like what kind of things are they interested in like research wise. So I spend some time getting some like more specific niche information about each program and um, the different like chiropractors on each one of the teams. I was going to say that's a good interview tip, but like I don't this is the first time I've like seriously interviewed for anything in my whole life. So don't take advice from me. Every job I have gotten have been coaching jobs and it's just been like, oh, you know so-and-so and you know so-and-so and you have X amount of years of experience or we're desperate and we need coaches. So 
I didn't have an interview to get into chiropractic school, which I should have. They should definitely be interviewing students, but they don't. And... No, I really don't have any interview experience. So Mike went out to run a few errands, and then we're going to watch the last episode of The Crown, and then we'll be done with season six. I think that's all they're making. Guys, do you see the breakage in my hair? Hold on. Like, you see this? I don't know. Like, this isn't necessarily a new thing, but I'm newly annoyed by it. <laughs> so I don't know if I need, like, a hair oil or like just for it to grow or like what do i need to stop doing do i need to stop using my revlon blow dry brush be really super honest with me like because i will especially when i do like slicked ponytails or buttons like these always just kind of end up finding their way out of the the slick i can't remember if i showed you guys my notion at the last in the last vlog ow, ow, ow. i also think i need a haircut Again, be so honest with me. I got like a haircut, I don't know, a couple months ago, but like, should I chop my hair off? I know I mentioned my notion last time, but I don't think, or I don't know if I showed you guys. If I did, I'm going to show you again. Sorry, but I don't think I showed you my like 2024 like gold tracker. So I'm gonna show you right now. I actually used a template. I didn't make this. I am not that girl. I like put in my little vision board right here. And then honestly, these were just like pictures that I thought were cute. But if you watched my like reset video for the beginning of the year, then you know I'm trying to do like the 12 week year. Um, and it kind of splits up your year into quarters and like doing specific goals for each quarter instead of like a ton of goals for the whole year so under each one of these i don't have anything filled out for like q2 three or four but if i click on q1 like my first 12 week year i have the goals listed out right here i'll like scroll down to like one of these ones that isn't filled yet um so under each of these like they have 12 weeks um so you can write everything that you need to do like your weekly goals your weekly to do's to get closer to like those original goals. Um, and then there's like a little reflection at um, this month, wait, that should say week. Oh wait, no, this is actually, I changed this. Um, it did say like month one, two, three, four, etc. But I changed it to like add a week instead of a month, um, just because that's more like the 12 week year. I think the template was called like quarterly goals or something like that. I'll like try to find it and link it below, but I just kind of edited it to meet my needs more, but I'll have like my weekly to do's here and then like a little reflection. And this is also a habit tracker, like a calendar, which I like. So every day you can just like mark off little habits that you have for yourself. So these are my daily habits that I want to get really good at. Honestly, the hardest ones have been the water and the posting on my stories. Just honestly, this one because that's always hard for me to drink water and the posting on stories because I've been sad. So <laughs> just to be honest. And then I'm like not going to show you any information about the residency programs that I'm applying to. Um, but I have a whole page dedicated to residency programs. And this is where I'm putting like all of my information about like the different programs and like questions I want to ask um, those program directors. And like this is where I'll put the notes I'd make for myself when I'm going through the interviews, not like while I'm in the interviews, but just like um, things I want to think about. So I'll probably make notes like right after I'm done with the interviews, um, just so I can remind myself of like how it went and like what I thought of the interview and the directors and like all that stuff. So that information will go here. Yeah, that's my notion setup. It's not like, I don't like live on it, I guess you should say. Oh, I have a personal like homepage too. And it's really nothing. I know people like really mess with their homepage, but I have a to-do list and a daily schedule. And that's really it. I wish I was like cool enough to have more and I'm just simply, I simply don't need it, honestly. <laughs> I think Mike just got home. So I'm gonna make 
my Caesar wrap with my Diet Coke. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And then we're gonna watch The Crown. I'm being so real. Like, do I need to cut my hair? I see girls with long hair and middle parts and they just have long hair and it looks good and I just don't I don't know how they got there because I feel like mine is just like okay. light is dead <laughs> I feel like mine is just like hanging dead on my head like sleepy jazz or something like that and I'll listen to that while I read my book I'm almost done I really like such a reader these days it's crazy but I'll put the tv on like a timer so it'll automatically shut off in like an hour so I usually read for like 20 to 30 minutes and then it's just on for the rest of the time and then it shuts off but I'm gonna end up the vlog and just read in bed, try to sip a little bit more of this water because I definitely did not get my 64 ounces in. But let me know what kind of content you guys are wanting to see because I'm curious and I just want a little bit more like inspiration and I don't know, like I said, we're in, we're in our grind era, okay? <laughs> a reminder to shop the Annalise sale, um, the Valentine's Day sale, 25% off. I'll have all the information down below and everything linked like I mentioned before. Um, thank you to them again for sponsoring this video. I love working with Ana Luisa. So go go pick yourself up something. Go get yourself something nice. Thank you again for watching. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>